Almost more famous for his tantrums than his acting ability, Russell Crowe's reputation as a leading man is often overshadowed by his bad boy ways. A multi-award winning actor, it was Sharon Stone's persistence in having him in the film The Quick and the Dead that gave him his Hollywood break and he hasn't looked back. After roles in the films Proof, Romper Stomper and The Sum of Us, he finally broke through in acting circles everywhere as the no-nonsense cop in 1997's award-winning film L.A. Confidential. He starred alongside Al Pacino in 1999's The Insider as a tobacco industry whistleblower and scored his first Best Actor Academy Award nomination. Next, Russell undertook the title role in Ridley Scott's 2000 release Gladiator. Playing Maximus, a fallen Roman general turned professional fighter, the actor dominated the film, earning rave notices and a Best Actor Academy Award. It marked his ascendance to the top of both Hollywood's A-list actors and most reliable movie stars. But 2006 was his favourite year yet. I've had a really good year in the last 12 months. I uh, have made two movies with my favourite film director and I welcome the birth of my second son, Tennyson. So it's been a great year. He was again Oscar nominated for his role in A Beautiful Mind before he starred in Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, an epic adventure on the high seas. 2005 saw him in Ron Howard's Cinderella Man and he re-teamed with favourite director Ridley Scott in 2006's A Good Year. A mesmerising on-screen presence, Russell Crowe's talents have earned him Hollywood's highest acting accolades.